Hi everybody, thanks for joining me on this journey. I'm just a gal trying not to get cancer again. I'm a certified nutritionist. My name is Deborah, certified nutritionist, breast cancer survivor, thriver, run half marathons, did hot yoga, and zero family history. So I asked every oncologist the same question, why did I get cancer? Knowing that for the last 30 years, I've made every health choice in my life to not get cancer, even down to not wearing deodorant with aluminum way before anybody was even thinking about toxins. One day after cancer, I was just on my knees praying like, Lord, what's next? What's next for me? And who's going to listen to me now? What am I going to say to my clients? Eat right, exercise, meditate, and maybe it'll work for you, but it clearly didn't work for me. That's not much of a positive health message. So I really felt that still small voice inside and it said, go look up the website. Why did I get cancer? And I thought, great idea. That's the question I asked every doctor. And I went and I Googled it and the URL was still available, which is only God. <laughs> so I bought the website, started the podcast, and now I'm interviewing people on a weekly basis. And I really think I'm figuring out why I got cancer. I think there were some things that I could do to lower my cancer risk. Um, I will share one of them now. And um, I struggled with unforgiveness um, throughout my life. And I really realized how much stress I was holding in by not forgiving people because forgiveness is for you. It's not for the person that you're upset with. So that's probably one of my bigger takeaways doing this podcast. So I hope you'll join me. I have the most amazing guests in the world. Um, I have oncologists, I have outliers, you name it. And I tell you, every time I interview somebody, I walk away with a new tip to help lower my cancer risk from getting rid of the toxins in my house to figure out what kind of plants to put in my house that's going to keep my air quality better and more pure. So I hope you'll join me on this journey. Thanks for listening.